are you planning to migrate and which country so I'm, i just put it in one question because it's asking the same thing so what are my thoughts on migration i don't know if you're talking about nurse migration or migration overall because of course i do want to migrate channel as y'all can see by the title down below today i'll be doing a q and a i can't tell the last time i did a q and a so i said you know what let me post a q and a on my instagram and see what y'all want to know about me right so i have a few questions i got about 20 something questions and i picked 12 of the best questions out of the 20 that i got to share with you guys and answer right so let's get right into it so the first question, what do you love the most about nursing? All right, so before I came into nursing, meaning as a registered general nurse, I didn't know what it actually took. I didn't know like I would have to be accepting and receiving so many patients. I didn't know what it was like, honestly, because I don't feel like as a student, you get the whole feel of being actually responsible for a human being, much less more than one or more than three. Because as a student, I used to get three, four patients um, when I'm assigned. So, yeah. So I didn't know what the task was about. But at the end of the day, I can tell you that sometimes it is very rewarding. You feel good when you see some of your patients downtown walking up and down. You, you just feel good overall to know that you were in charge of somebody's care and they were able to get well and get discharged. It has its ups and its downs, but I think that the best thing is that it's rewarding, right? So let's skip to the next question. The next question, which unit or ward do you work on? So the question is, which unit or ward do you work on? So I currently work on the medical ward. It was a medical surgical ward, but there's another ward that was um, converted to a surgical ward. So we mostly see medical cases, but we do have some surgery patients on our ward. So yeah, I basically work on the medical surgical wards, just the same, but just more medical patients, if you know what I mean, right? So next question. All right, so somebody asks if I've been, so, so the question is, have you been okay mentally? So mentally, I feel like work has taken a toll on me. So that is why y'all don't see me post as often. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm just this person that has to be at work all the time because there are people depending on me and I have to go because they're depending on me. And sometimes I put my, put my work over myself. So I'm trying to start um, putting myself first instead of work because at the end of the day if my body cannot do the work It doesn't make any sense, right? And in nursing sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves and I'm sorry But I have to put myself first at all times. So the other day I was re working really hard I was staying at work late hours and so forth I kind of cut that down because I have a lot of things going on and I don't want work to be like cutting it into my time too much because of course I need time to relax I need time for myself to rejuvenate and you know get back um, strength to do another day at work and so forth so I feel like doing a lot of overtime isn't for me i mean i can do it because i have goals i have a lot of goals that i need to accomplish for the rest of this year i accomplished most of the goals that i wanted to accomplish but for the rest of the year i need to accomplish certain goals but i don't feel like i need to stress myself too much in order to do it i'm gonna do things at the pace that it goes so i'm just gonna take take it everything one step at a time i'm not gonna rush and accomplish the rest of my goals normally i would tell you guys what i want to do but at this point i can't share that with you but eventually you will know what i'm talking about so i've not been okay mentally i'm just trying to keep on track with um trying to make myself happy because trust me work can really take a toll on you but anyways enough of that <laughs> So the next question is, what are my thoughts on migration? And another person asks, are you planning to migrate and which country? So I'm, I just put it in one question because it's asking the same thing. 
So what are my thoughts on migration? I don't know if you're talking about nurse migration or migration overall, because of course I do want to migrate, but in my state right now, working at this hospital, I don't think that I would be able to migrate just now. I mean, I do like the US, I do like um, the UK, not like, not really like the UK, but I mean, I just think I need, I, I just think eventually I would need a change of environment and the US would be the best place for me. I mean, I have most of my family there or whatever, but at this moment in time, I don't think I'll go anywhere. So I was saying that the US, UK, um, but for right now, um, I just want to be traveling the world and visiting different countries. So that's all I want to be doing on my vacation, right? But anyways, next question. So the next question is, what do you think the monthly salary of a nurse should be? All right. So for me personally, I feel like if I go to university for four years and I spend almost, if I spend over $2 million for my degree, I should be able to afford housing upon leaving school i'm supposed to be able to make back what i spent sorry i'm supposed to be make back what i spent for university in a year and i'm not seeing where that is possible so therefore i'm not getting enough pay right so i feel as if we should make about roughly one hundred and fifty thousand dollars every two weeks and yes i said every two weeks because at the end of the day monthly salary um it's okay now, but sometimes I reach the middle of the month, the money done. So I would like to be paid bi-weekly and $300,000 a month. 150 k every two weeks. I stand. I stand. For the nurses, comment down below and tell me if you know what I want to get $150,000 a month. A two-week, let me say. Um, and also the nursing students, tell me if that's so attractive. And I know some nursing students actually know what the pay rate is like, so tell me if you don't think that's attractive. Anyways, next question is, would you date a guy with kids? All right, so for me, I feel like having kids or a guy having kids is a deal breaker, right? Um, For one, I'm not stepmother material. That's number one. Number two, I don't feel like I can, I don't, all right, so I don't think it's really anything that has to do with anything really serious why I don't want to do it but I don't feel like I'd, I want to nurture somebody else's child and in the end when I nurture them and I um, bring them up and whatever they choose to disrespect me that's a no-no right I've seen it happen before and I don't want that to happen to me the next thing the baby mama drama right i don't have luck with females and therefore me know the baby mother will come into the picture unless she died or whatever but even if i don't want to have a child i don't want to have a i don't want to date a guy with a child that's just a point blank period i don't care any circumstances i just don't want to do it right period how did you manage to maintain a good gpa for nursing school all right so if you were following the nursing series you would know that i did not maintain a good gpa in the first half but if you're talking about after my first year then fine we can, we can discuss that so for one to maintain a good gpa you have to be focused you have to learn to pre-read and post-read right and i have a video up of how i managed to get through nursing school and so forth and i i did a breakdown my first year second year third year and fourth year um and all the shebang so check those videos out and and you'll get pretty much a little bit more tips than i'm sharing with you now but yeah it's hard to maintain a good gpa however you have to know what you want and you have to work towards it right next question what's one of your pet peeves all right so one of my biggest pet peeves one of my biggest pet peeves is the bathroom like if you're gonna use a bathroom and people pan the seat that will piss me off like it's gonna really grind my gears i hate it so much i like when bathroom clean and speak and spam but just yeah i love my bathroom yeah that's just me next question what's your best feature so honestly i feel like my best feature are my lips although my lip kind of long but me just like the color it's unique yeah me like my lip them yeah wow our chum something like really them yes i them me like our 
All right, next question. What's one of the best things about being an adult? I'm searching for this, this, this answer, but I can't find it because there's nothing good about being an adult. First of all, I'm at a job where it's like, I feel like, I don't know, because I'm an, I, I'm an essential worker, so I always have to be there regardless of how I feel mentally. That's number one. Imagine if I was living on my own, I would have to force myself to go to work every day. Number three, um, I have to be responsible. I have to think about bills. When I was small, I didn't have to think about bills. I have to be thinking about how to get food. I have to spend my money. That's one thing that I don't like. When I was small, I, I spent my parents' money. They gave me money and they gave me food. What's the other thing about what's the other thing about being that adult? The only thing that I think was is good about being an adult is some form of independence some form let me just highlight some form because i get to do what i want when i want how i want sometimes <laughs> not even in its entirety but um i do get to do what i want sometimes because i have my money to do it so i can do it i don't have to be depend on anybody to do what i want to do but anyways next question what were some of the strategies you used to pass your span exam so as i said before i have videos up so you can check out my span video i'm gonna put the pop-up right here so you can click on it and look at the strategies i used to pass my span of duty exam i really don't remember much about it because i mean i did span like two years ago two years ago my god time is going so fast but anyways yeah i did it two years ago so therefore I don't remember she's but I think I put enough tips in it or my memory was fresh at the time so of course I was able to put a lot of advice in it all right next question and this is the final question and this is rate your university experience in Jamaica and explain why you gave it that rating all right so university in Jamaica very 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 ghetto very ghetto I must say and I feel like a lot of international um, students won't agree with me, but I feel like it was ghetto. First of all, the campus I chose was ghetto because, of course, um, Kingston had to be like the one telling us what to do. Second of all, the, the, the people them at my campus, most of the time, them don't know what to do or them don't know what Mona would do, so we have to end up calling Mona. Third of all, the exchange rate and the school fee very ghetto fourth of all me feel like them purposefully set the assignments near to test dates in order for us to fail fifth of all the lecturers were some of them were just downright disrespectful and never know how to talk to people so me feel like that never right and them go on like so we are big and we pay with money period point blank right so i would give university in jamaica like a three out of ten although i got my degree and i passed everything and i get, got what i wanted in life i feel like something needs to be done as, a, done as it relates to customer service because of course i am the customer and i'm depending on the lecturer for a service so therefore you need to treat me better even though i might not know something do not treat me like as if because i don't know i will never know because that's one thing you can do because you will tell me today okay you will come today and ask me what are the lab values whatever whatever and i don't know i need to say ensure that next time i see you you know it fine period point black you don't need to come and disgrace me or anything like that for me to feel away and then you know i feel like the respect the respect was very lacking the communication was very lacking at one point i was supposed to graduate and then at the end of the day i'm hearing that i didn't do something so i have to be calling people to tell them okay i did this and sending things to i need better communication so communication was my number one factor so three out of ten and y'all know which university i went to i'm not gonna call any names but yes man i drag nobody through the mud because man i want to get a lawsuit so it go but anyways people i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy watching me and big up to my hairdresser benny's hairstyles on instagram for setting me up if you want details about this here i can let you know if you want to know how much pack do my ear but we'll make you know but yeah thank you so much for watching the video ensure that you like share comment and subscribe 
looking forward to seeing you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye